Welcome to part four in our Pinch Pot Bobblehead series. In part four, we begin to add textures to our bobblehead. Welcome to Stecker Studios. Now that my bobblehead is fully formed with all its parts and is dried to leather hard, it's time to add some texture. Because my bobblehead is a panda bear, I'm going to be adding a fur texture to almost the entire surface of the bobblehead. So far I've gone ahead and used a needle tool to kind of mark off where the fur changes from black to white. And now I'm going to use the serrated rib tool to scratch in some fur going in different directions. The little lines that are scratched into the surface of the clay with the serrated rib tool will help to show that there's fur on, to, on the bear. Some of the lines will be scratched in while there will be some lines that are left standing out. There are lots of different textures that you can use and lots of different ways that you can add texture to clay. Depending on the type of bobblehead you're making, you can create fur, feathers, scales, you can even create textures like wood grains metal bolts or rivets, or even cloth. You can even push textures into the clay or use stamps. For whatever type of bobblehead you choose to make, you can simply match the texture of the object that you're making, or you can get creative and mix and match other textures as well. The serrated rib tool does a great job of creating textures like fur, but it may not be the right tool for you. So think about what type of texture you wanna create and find some tools that will best help you create them. Now that most of the fur is finished on the body, I'm just going to go back with my needle tool to clean up some of the edges and details. Now I'm going to refine some of the details on the face or head of the bobblehead and go back and finish adding the rest of the fur to the head of the panda. As we get close to finishing the bobblehead, I think it's important to point out that as you're building the bobblehead, it's a good idea to leave the head off of the neck so that both parts have a chance to dry and stiffen up enough to support the weight. Otherwise they may bend and then your bobblehead won't work. And that's about it for our pinch pot bobblehead. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing.